What's up? My name is Trent. How are you doing, my children? Except for you're not really my children, because that would imply that I fucked your mothers. And let me check here. Nope, my calendar says I haven't fucked anyone's mother lately, so we're all good in that sense. No motherfucking or any of the such. But how are you doing? I'm doing alright, and this is honestly my best game in Black Ops 2. Um, probably my only good game, considering I suck. But you can enjoy it, and a little uh, spoiler here. All my kill streaks there, I get them three times, and if I didn't cut off what the kill streaks are, you can see that that basically means that I tied the team up, bent it over backwards, and no one found him for five years in my basement. Enough said. But we will be diving deeper into the female mind, the body, and possibly the boobs of the female. Dive deep in there with our scuba gear. See if we can find any fucking fish floating around, capture them illegally, take them back to our laboratory and test them. Long story short, we will be talking about the female today in a way, and this way particularly is, uh, what's it called, like, ru uh, or rushing things, or trying to get stuff too early. We are going in hard, and we may never come back from this because it is going to be fucking intense. So... Basically, the point, I'll just skip right to it, hand it to you fucking flat. So, when you're with a female, you need to fucking be easy on shit, and you have to give them their fucking space, because if you're fucking sitting there, and, you know, you just got your first fucking hug from her, and then it's like, hey, surprise butt sex, I don't think that's gonna go out too well. You know, you can't just skip from fucking hug to anal, it doesn't work that way. And even if you're having regular sex and you try to go to anal, they seem close enough, right? I mean, a butthole's only a few feet away from the fucking vagina. But as soon as you start entering the butthole, and then you realize she doesn't want it, like, what are you gonna do? Just, just pretend like you didn't fucking find your way and you need her to, like, draw a map out for you? Because that might be a little bit embarrassing if you're like, oh no, just fucking get a little Sharpie marker and draw me out a map and there's a fucking spider on me. <laughs> um, I apologize. I was fiercely beating... The spider, not my meat, but <laughs> that kind of fucking scared me. I saw something moving on me. I figured my penis either slipped out of my jeans and was having a little flop fucking fest on my jeans, or there was a spider on me. And it looked like it was number two, but <laughs> back to what I was saying, if I can remember. Fuck that guy. That was beautiful. Thought I'd point that out. But you can't just skip to that shit, you might need to draw you out a map, it might be a little bit embarrassing, who knows, maybe it's like the Atlantic Charter in there, like you need to fucking take a ship and like calculate uh, the fucking wind speed and like danger zones and shit, and, 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 uh, I mean granted this is very possible, but even still, I would just take the chance of going easy and talking to her and asking about it, and now this is especially true when we talk about sending like naked photos and shit, like, you know, you don't want to have her sit there and be watching, like, fucking, the fucking animal planet with her grandma, and the next thing you know, it's like, ring, 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 dick picture from boyfriend. Or hell, I guess it could even be dick picture from guy you know that fucking took your number when you weren't looking and sending you a dick pic. All I know is that females will definitely not appreciate it if you just send them random pictures of your dick from time to time. Because the penis is not the most incredible thing in the world. I mean, unless you fucking put, like, little decorations on it and lights and have it be, like, your own little monument. I mean, it's not the greatest thing in the world. So chances are she's not going to be overly, like, pleased and dripping wet that you're fucking sending her a picture of your penis anyways. And especially if you do it unadvised. And especially, like, what if you don't even know her number for sure yet and you just send it and it it just ends up sending it to your grandma or something and she just texted you back and like she just thinks that you're like asking like showing her like your progress or something and she's like it's a nice penis you got there I mean all I'm saying is that not quite the normalest thing to be sending your grandma dick pics I know I don't do it on a regular basis I mean it's happened all I'm saying is that you need to fucking be calm with your shit, give it some time, ask her, be like, hey, would you like a picture of my pretty fucking penis that I strung lights on? And who knows, she might say yes, but <laughs> chances are you're gonna get denied on this shit. Uh, of course, the only reason why you'd be sending pictures of your penis is if you could get some boobs in return and such. So, 
Perhaps if she wants to send you boobs, she'll just say yes to the dick pic so she can have an excuse to send you her boobs. But all I know is that you gotta be easy and not rush your shit, because women will get fucking pissed if you do this. Trust me, even if it's just a simple asking and if she's totally opposed to it, it's better to ask and have her be like, no, then you just fucking whip it out on her and surprise her. I mean... If she's sitting there and she thinks that you're just having a good old time watching the movie and you have other intentions in mind, and the next thing you know, she wakes up in your basement and there's, like, fucking de dead lambs, like, tied up right next to her, and you're in, like, a fucking George Bush mask or something with a meat cleaver in hand, and you told her that you thought you should spend some quality time together in your fucking dark basement where no one else can hear her scream... Um, chances are she is going to be a little more scared than pleasured by this. I mean, you never know. She could get down from the chains and fucking whip out like a feather duster and start dusting the inside of your asshole or something. Um, if she's a nice cleaning lady like that. I don't know. I mean, all I'm saying is that if she's cleaning that well, then you might as well marry her right there. That's a keeper. But chances are it's not really going to go that way. It's going to go a little bit not your way, unplanned, not going good, so don't put yourself in one of those stupid situations where you feel fucking weird, give the females their space, and if they say no, don't be like, oh, it's fine, and they're gonna be like, oh, it's fine, that's good, you know, I feel good that you think it's fine, and then, like, you whisper to yourself, I guess I'm just gonna have to fucking tie you up and beat the shit out of you and fucking leave you tied up in the back of my trunk. Yeah, after that, then, um, yeah, definitely much less likely, because she's, she's going to be like, <laughs> what? She's going to be sweating and probably dialing the police number from her pocket as we speak. So, you know, don't go crazy, just calm down, because chances are, if you give them a chance and wait, and just be like, okay, we can wait, we're good, who gives a shit? Like, let's go and have some fucking tea, and she's like, did he just say tea? And then as soon as she hears T, she's going to get instantly aroused by this. And then you're just going to ask where she is because you're not going to find her for a little while. And she's going to tell you she's in her room and come in. You're going to walk in. And she's going to have a teapot. And she's just going to be dripping it over her body. And her skin's going to be, like, sizzling off. And it's going to be sick and disgusting. But, you know, it's just the confidence that you know she wants you so bad that she made, like, little fucking teacups bounce on her head and, like, drowsed herself. And then she's going to ask you to pour the tea and you don't even know what to do at this point in time but all you know is that you got somewhere so that's all that really matters at this point in time is how you know how you feel inside about yourself and that's good you know it's a self-confidence booster when you see that women want to dump their tea on their bodies for you i mean no one gets fucking tea dumped on their bodies these days i mean you have to be a real fucking man to get levels of that poon to where women will do that shit for you so, chances are, if you wait, she's going to be much more inclined to say yes to something later, whether it be some fucking crazy tied-up fucking tiger porn, or it's a fucking checkers game with you both fucking glued to the chairs naked. Whatever you're into, it's cool. Chances are, it's going to be more of a yes leaning towards that answer. As opposed to before, where it's basically just no, 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 he's fucking bothering me, it's irritating the shit out of me, and then the next time you ask after that, it's basically a kick to the fucking nuts, and then the next thing you know, you know, no babies for you ever, won't even be able to jizz, because it's gonna feel like you're trying to fucking jizz out fucking nails and shit. So... I guess that's all I really have to talk about today. But you get it, moral of the story is, just go easy. If a girl says no, that doesn't mean she's a fucking bitch and you need to punch her in the face and fucking smash her head in the fucking billboard and leave it there and make fun of her and fucking put whipped cream on her face and fucking slap her multiple times with her penis or, you know, anything like that. But it definitely means that she just says no and... As long as you wait, good things come to those who wait. I mean, obviously, if you see that you can't, compa you're not compatible with her because she's like fucking a saint or something and praying to God, 
and you want to fucking bend her over backwards on your chair and fuck her with your entire, like, pencil collection or something, then, um, obviously it's not gonna work out, but if it's just, like, she needs a little bit of time to wait, then you should wait for that and be cool with it. But, as you can see, this is over. I'm gonna go now. I appreciate you watching and giving this video the time of day. You're great. Thank you for that. Thanks for all your support, your likes, your comments. I love those fucking comments. Other than that, I hope your day is really fucking incredible and you get some crazy backwards pencil porn um, if you're into that shit. And uh, thanks for the support. Um, I'll see you in the next video and I'll talk to you later. Peace.